In this video, the auditor is following audit trails on the shop floor related to measurement system analysis. Watch this video and see whether the auditor is auditing effectively. Okay, so I understand this is the last part of the process then. Almost, yes. Uh, so can you explain what's going through at the moment? Have you got production material coming through? No, all, uh, already we have no production, but we um, uh, mix out or figure out a new color for a customer. Okay, this is what we are doing at which the customer is this for? Audi. It's Audi, okay. So can you take me through then the verification then of the color? You said this is a color variant. Yes. So we have uh, two things. The first is the optical or visual inspection by the operator or the Q, uh, the quality amber himself. And yeah. the second is we measure the values or we measure the color with a spectral photometer. Right. Comparing to the customer's um, requirements. Right. So can you show? Here, is this yeah. one of the development parts? Yes. OK. So maybe could you show us how you do the visual check and also the measurement? So these are now printed samples and we compare them. No, third, oh, three. Also, three. Yeah. So, and we compare them, as I told you, uh, visually. So this is your master, is it, here? This here is the master and we compare the master visually with this small glass. What was the purpose of this mask? Why do you use this mask? That my eyes not got uh, impresses from other colors or from the surrounding. I can focus now just on the important on those... areas and not on the environment. Right. This is so that's works. the visual check. And this if the visual, visual check, check is OK, what happens next? If this is OK, then we make the next step and compare the uh, compare it with the spectral photometer. Okay, so take me through again what this is measuring then. So we are working in the LAB spectrum. LAB. L -L LAB. Yeah. Okay, so could you show me how you go about doing that? Have to boot up. And so now I measure. Yeah, I can see. Now I measure the values from the sample. Yeah. And after that, I measure the same. And is it a comparison then? It's a comparison, it's a comparison between yes. the two. And, and what about the acceptance criteria? How do we know if that is good or no good? So we have two options, or we go two ways. The first way is to make a visual inspection with our eyes and compare it to the master. Okay, and what's the purpose of having the circles then? So that I'm not infected of other lights and can concentrate with my eyes to these two er uh, areas. This is the reason why I use this tool. Okay, and then if this looks okay visually, what's the next step? Next step is the dig uh, digital measurement. Okay, so can you show me that? So we have here a spectral photometer. And the first step is then we measure the master sample. Okay. And after this, we compare it then with our, with our print. We measure a second time. And then we can see here the difference in uh, digital values. Yeah. Maybe we are too, uh, too dark or we are too green or too yellow, or yeah. the shininess is different. And if we see here is uh, different, then we make a correction with the recipe. And what's the customer standard for this, and how much deviation is allowed between the, cus the color standard? Uh, the customer gives us specifications, and in each print layer is specified, uh, specified from two from two on the L, A, B, and G axis. Right, okay, yeah. And this would automatically compare the master versus the yes. actual, would yes. it? Within these specifications? Within these specifications, yes. Okay, now that, that's clear for me. So what I will do after lunch is we will follow up on the calibration of this of and course. also the measurement system analysis. Mm -hmm. But no, thank you for that explanation. You're welcome. So the key learning points. 
In undertaking any IETF 16949 audit, it's essential that the auditor doesn't sit in the conference room, but they actually get out into the manufacturing process. In this case, the auditor is on the shop floor and they have ascertained that there is no manufacturing taking place at the time of the audit. Where possible, every action should be taken to make sure that when the auditor goes to the shop floor, that manufacturing will be occurring. But in some cases, that may not be possible. In this case, we saw the auditor down on the shop floor and there was no production parts being manufactured but there were some trials being undertaken for some new parts that were being produced for Audi. When you are on the shop floor, auditors should try and talk to the people that are close to the process. So operators and team leaders. Where in this video, the auditor was talking more to the manager responsible for the production process. The audit centered around around the measurement systems that were being used within the production process. So for example, for the product that was being audited, there was a visual check, which means that the auditor should challenge the organization on attribute measurement system analysis. And also there was a variable measurement system, which was a spectro photometer and that's a variable measurement system. So in that case, the auditor should be challenging the organization for that type of measurement system, what measurement system analysis had been undertaken. So let's summarize. Measurement system analysis is key within the framework of IETF 16949 to make sure that we have suitable and capable measurement systems. Again, this should not always be audited within an office environment. An auditor should capture information on the different types of measurement systems that are being used within production. They could be variable measurement systems or they could be attribute measurement systems. And then follow the audit trails to ensure that measurement system analysis has been undertaken for each type of measurement system that is specified on the control plan. Measurement system analysis is a really important call tool within the context of IETF 16949. Auditors should be effectively auditing measurement system analysis and ensure for each type of measuring test equipment system that is specified on the control plan, appropriate measurement system analysis studies have been undertaken.